get the plastic explosive. Use card 3. Be careful of the roller. Get the mines. Make sure you have a lot of rations for the heat panel. Kill all the guys first. Ready the rations. Eat the rations in the middle of the panel. Get card 3 ready. Get the infrared goggles. You can use them to see traps. Don't let the guard get near the panel. Use card 4 to get to Machine Gun Kid. Get close and shoot him 10 times. Get the iron glove using card 1. Use card 3. Rescue this guy and get a clue. Use goggles to see infrared lines. Use card 1 to rescue this guy and get a clue. Get the ammunition. Get the plastic explosive. Use the transceiver. Remember, they're not on your side. Go to the roof. Put on the bomb blast suit. Use card 2 to rescue this guy. It'll help your rank. Take the bridge, but go slow. Use rations to survive heat panels. Get the mine detector. Leave the room and kill the guard before he activates the heat panel. Beat the twins by sneaking around the corner. Now lure them over, then hit them with grenades. 10 per guard. Use card two to rescue this guy and get a clue. Die on the bridge on purpose to get to the right spot. Get the rations. Leave a mine under the wheels. You need 10 to win. Use the mine detector here. They're back. Judy Andrews. What's that? What's that? And Carol Burnett. Well, I'm waiting for the choo-choo. Two entertainment legends reunite for an all-new special. AT&T presents Judy and Carol together again Wednesday. This is John London. And Charles Gibson. This week, celebrate 50 years of that American classic, Gone with the Wind. Also, Whoopi Goldberg, Patrick Swayze, and Sean Connery this week on Good Morning America. Wednesday, Mike introduces Ben to the joys of shopping on Growing Pains, followed by Head of the Class. Now stay tuned for Home Room, next. Tuesday, let's sell cookies to the grown-ups. It's Office Wars. He said you and Weston were dry and he was looking to take on a new team. You're not a player, and you never will be. 30-something. Out of every 10 people who've tried Benalin cough syrup with its unique cough suppressant, nine say they'll use it again. Is your cough syrup this effective? Try Benalin. have been improved so now you can rock up to 111 days without changing the batteries in your radio you kodak batteries on depend on us to last longer the first presenter of the evening turned his sport into a massive media revolution and made it socially acceptable to turn tricks <laughs> that's right friends romans and gamers Put your hands together for my man, Mr. Tony Hawk! Well, uh, 
have to admit, I have been very lucky to make a living doing something that I absolutely love, and that is presenting awards. <laughs> and uh, when I have time skating. Um, the EB Gamers Choice Award was decided at over a thousand store locations in all 50 states. If you had strong opinions about video games and could operate a pen, you were eligible to fill out a ballot. It was easier than an Ollie North over the Gons Gap. Let's take a look at the nominees. EB Gamers Choice. Grand Theft Auto, Vice City. Battlefield, 1942. Animal Crossing. Clancy's Splinter Cell. Metroid Prime. And the winner of the 2003 EB Gamers Choice Award goes to Grand Theft Auto Vice City. Here to accept the award is the man responsible for it all, the creator of Grand Theft Auto Vice City, and the president of Rockstar Games. Hey! Hey, what the hell are you doing? Ah! The award is mine, Tommy Mercedes! You understand? I get credit for this. By the way, I uh, really love your work. I'm a big fan. Oh, thanks. Really stuff. And hey, I almost forgot to thank me! And me, and most of all, me. I owe all my success to my mother. Mom once told me to live life following this one simple rule. If you like it, take it. If you don't, break it. Try it. It's better than yoga, you jerks. You're all jerks. <laughs> Hi, I'm Diane Mizoda. And I'm Victor Lucas. And welcome to G4IA. This is where Silent Hill 2 was created, here in Tokyo, somewhere on the 42nd floor of these buildings. Counting the graphics designers, programmers and musicians, over 50 people worked for nearly two years on this project. But Silent Hill 2 would not have come to light without these three. Imamura, the producer. Sato, in charge of designing the characters and cinematic visuals. And Yamaoka, who created the sound and music. All three are very ingenious, but they say it's like being married, because they all work together on the first Silent Hill. But for Silent Hill 2, they've gone much further, because Silent Hill 2 is a lot more than just a horror game, more a terrible love story. Anyway, what do you mean, anyway? You don't sound very happy to see Every me. detail of the game is conceived to shake you up mentally <gasps> and emotionally. I'm here for you, James. See? I'm real. This is the artistry of these alchemists of the emotions.
There. God damn it. God damn it. All right, we're good. Thank you guys for letting me know so quickly. Again, it's that it's that stream starting up tech paranoia. I'm glad you guys blasted it out though. Well, let's uh, let's get a little shout out to Windows Update for uh. Well, shouts to Windows Update. Well, that's interesting. It switched to no, it didn't. Never mind. All right, little shout out to Windows Update for um, just unbinding my shit. Took a lot of jiggling to get the, the displays working again, but ain't nobody gonna hack me. That's for sure. Okay, yes, Light Warden. Oh yeah, you guys didn't even hear, so I don't have to apologize for repeating myself. Uh, wait, hold on. What's going on here? Are they just tired? Oh, they got poisoned. That's right. Story shit. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna go kill Light Warden. They're Light Wardens, they got magic. You gotta go beat them. Is that guy dressed like Squall? Yep. Alright. Ah. Uh, Katana Ravel. Alright. I can do that. Oh, wait. Um. Oh. That's, uh. I guess I'll go. Sure. I usually. I've been using the trust system, but, um. Ooh! But I guess I'll play with people. That's pretty. That's a lot. Probably a lot faster. Seen Fire Force or Dr. Stone? No, I've seen neither, but good god, it's Crunchyroll tweeting nonstop about Dr. Stone. You got a su sick orb there, buddy. I'll oh, see you, Gas Masher. Thanks for dropping by with the reset, though. Enjoy your sleep. I hope it's regenerative, restorative. Uh, here's. I'm, I'm riding the lightning, guys, because I just ordered. It's the next big thing. It doesn't. Mm, I guess. It looks weird. Whatever still images I've seen of it. Jericho, thanks for the reset. Have fun on the stream tonight. I shall. Anyway, riding the lightning. I got sandwiches on the way, so I might have to run away from the stream to answer the door. Um, I gotta keep an eye on my phone. I think it's gonna be big for a year. I, yeah, I guess I need to check it out then. What's what's the hook? What's the uh, instant pop cues for healers and tanks still going strong? Nixel, isn't that every MMO ever? Like it, I feel like it's every MMO, MMO ever. Uh, it's you. Shift one, okay. I'm trying to use a flay to sell us more. It's not that good, don't bother. Oh, okay. It's just getting hyped. They're trying to really push it. I've actually been playing a lot with a control. Wasn't looking at that. Got lucky there. I'm playing with the controller a lot, so it'll be interesting to uh, try and remember all my keyboard shortcuts. Okay. Hmm. I'm bugging redneck. Oh, that's a year. It's gonna be a minute before I can play play you out, though. I'm sorry. Can you play this with a controller? It seems like there's way too many abilities. It, no, actually, it's actually pretty smart. So, um, at any given time, you can have eight abilities on your like action tray, and you get no sixteen. Yeah. So you use the abilities by holding the right or left trigger, and when you do that, it makes every face button and every direction on the D-pad be a skill. So you can have sixteen total, and it's actually really not that bad. Um, it takes a bit of use getting used to, but, I mean, there's time in the game to do it. They, they give you that time when you're leveling and stuff, so... Uh, it's actually really great. Um, it's very playable. I haven't really, uh... done it with, like, uh... dungeon running or anything like that. I certainly haven't raided with it, but I use it to level. It's fine for that, because you don't really do a whole lot of complicated stuff when you're, when you're raiding, or sorry, when you're leveling. I have eight abilities, all of them are Splash. You're the, the world's most pro Magikarp. Have you seen Is It Wrong to Pick Up Girls in a Dungeon? No, but I really want to. Uh, people describe it and it sounds like my kind of show. Maybe, maybe a little too lewd, maybe? 
There was another kind of like, kind of lewd uh, comedy show that was like that, right? I can't remember the name of it. I've had this conversation with Twitch chat a number of times. It's not that lewd? Okay. Maybe there's another one that's, that's a little more, a little more titty out, titty forward. Konosuba, that's it, thank you. My fucking redneck, goddamn, thank you for the gifts, man. I don't need to do that, but I appreciate it. <clears throat> Is Konosuba the, the more adult, fine adult entertainment show? More comedy? Okay. Check this again. Okay. Hestia's pretty titty forward. Okay, okay. It's been a while since I've watched a titty show. Fuck. Oh, this is interesting. Oh, oh! Okay. They're, they're mixing it up. I like it. Kind of see what's loose stuff is more for parody. Okay. What is this? Damage dealt is increased? Oh. So you want to get hit by it? Oh wait, that must be from a from a party member, not from getting blasted in the ass by a beam. Finland Saga's great time? Okay. I'm still trying to catch up on my hero. I'm almost almost done with season three. Almost there. I'm, I'm slow. I'm a slow boy. Oh. Jojo, hell yeah. Now that's... Y'all want to hear something awful. I, uh... I'm not caught up on Jojo. How many times is it going to be the Final Fantasy people catch on to the ruse? Yeah, they're... They're really milking it, aren't they? We weren't fooled before, Square. We won't fall for your tricks again. Yes, this is quite a bit faster than using NPCs. I don't like this. I don't like what's happening here. This is freaking me out a little bit. I just haven't... haven't done this boss before, so... Did we get buffed or something? Oh. You've got an angry shoulder. Oh, okay. His shoulder lights up and that's the side of the uh, arena that gets hit. Oh shit, that was a big hit. Oh, I have a Flatus Misery? I didn't know that. Holy crap. When did I get that? I haven't been using that at all. Oh my god. Oh shit! Wasn't paying attention. That's what he does after heat up, I guess? Okay. I always like this stuff where like... That's like the, the nice mechanic. You'll, you'll take a hit, but you'll get a debuff. Which means if you just keep eating the same hit over and over, you will eventually die. But it gives you a chance to at least learn and respond. Very, very... Very pleased with that mechanic. Okay, so I can't be in front of that, and... Okay, so the tank's trying to position him, I think. Oh! God damn it. I didn't think that was gonna hit me. I thought it was like just to that half, but I guess I was... They might be able to kill him. They limit break. And your big toe, yeah. I don't think, yeah, none of them can battle res. 
I think they got it, actually. And I should be able to run back there by the time it goes. Oh, an easy way to tell when your party's fucking up? Yeah. It, like, puts a big old marker on... I never thought about it that way, but yeah. It definitely puts a big-ass marker on people who get hit by stuff. Oh, they got LB. There we go. No problem. Probably should have waited so I could teleport, but I'll catch up soon enough. Hmm. Yeah, I thought I would be able to run all the way back by the time that they were done, but I guess not. You gotta know who you gotta yell at, yeah. Really single them out in the Discord, make it uncomfortable. Aw. We got a nice, we got a nice tank. That's nice. Need to watch how, to, how not to summon a demon lord or the mom is Isiaki. What's up, Bella? Bella time. Dr. Eleven, thank you for the two years of subs. That's two subs I owe. Mudbug and Redneck and uh, Dr. Eleven. Also, Demo. Thank you for the prime sub. Didn't see you in there. Oh, boy. Okay. Fuck. You guys aren't, aren't gonna give me any time, huh? You're making me get to work right away. All right. Turkaz, thank you for the five months of Prime subs. Amazingly consistent. Yeah, anime chat, for sure. <sighs> Watch Promise Neverland? Ugh. Every time it's anime chat, I get so loaded up with motivation to watch all these shows and then I just don't. Yeah, High School DxD is, it's... I don't know how they get away with it. I guess there's just, there's no... They don't have to put a black bar on anything, but damn. Damn, is that just violent porn. I can't, I love like shameless shit, but I cannot watch that show without feeling bad. That one gets to me. I think, I think it is just the intersection of like, Absurd violence and raw sexuality. It's a little too close to like a kink that is very uncomfortable Promise land and neverland is not lewd Then I don't understand what why it's anime It seems to fail the most the most basic definition already Oh, High School DxC. Yeah, I- no, I am talking about High School of the Dead. My bad. I- man. Things- the- the world is repeating itself. I have certainly, uh, made that mistake too. This music is pretty nice. But a violent Dragon Ball- DxD, you mean? Pig is white mage. I've been healer in a lot of MMOs. I like the idea that like I've, I've played like I've played each each member of the Holy Trinity really, and healing I think really is my favorite. I think it. I feel like often it requires the most nuance. It requires a lot of decision making. Um, especially I mean especially in fourteen because healers are still semi DPS, and I don't know if that's it by design or not. So let's see, it's... Nourishes the Blood Lily. Can only be excused when the Blood Lily is in full bloom. Okay, so you have to keep a Flatus Solicing and then you get a Flatus Misery. That's meant to make you use that heal instead of other things because there's a DPS bonus at the end of it. I like it. There we go, and I just got it, so let me try this out. Lot. Is this time medicine? Yeah, in one of these. 
Oh, he never had regen on. God damn it. Okay, I think they got all the bats. No. A healer of your depression? See? Once a good healer, always a good healer. Yeah. Siri, please. I've been playing uh, 14 for quite a while. Oh. Hold on a minute. Oh, don't know me neat. Oh. Oh, that looks serious up there. That is, oh, it's mad. Oh, okay. It got out. Um, shit. Delivery guy seems like he might be coming soon. Hey, hey, Steph? Take a shower. I really thought you'd be out by now. Oh no, the creator of High School of the Dead died from heart disease? Damn, that sucks. What are we gonna do about the titties? The titties, everybody. What about the titties? The Bat Squatch? That's a great name for a boss. Terrified. This is like my nightmare. I don't want to inconvenience anybody. Holy crap. I was not paying attention. And that guy. Do I have a debuff? Those are falling. What the fuck? Okay. We play WoW Classic? I don't have a great motivation to, if I'm being honest. I guess I shouldn't let that fall on me. That's interesting. You just have to visually watch the way it's tipping. You watch Date Alive. I haven't even heard of that. What server are you on? Leviathan. Let me go. Let me go check on Stephanie real quick. Bokura wa Mario to tsuyoku naru. Technical fantasy game, Super Mario Brothers 3. Surf design. In surf design, you've got to ride the rails, avoid obstacles, and go for maximum airtime. Here's a quick way to rack up extra points. Ride the rails. In fact, you get Okay. Sorry about that. This is a this is a real tense situation, guys. This is high high dramatic streaming action. Maximum tension. Big gamer tension. Still playing the battle music, which is kind of odd. Did somebody go back in? Bosses in the sex pack are good. Yeah, I like them so far. I appreciate the like the mechanics are just a light touch there. Finished my fourth job for Shadowbringers. Grand isn't so bad this time. I'm like having to run the vault and Heaven's Word 19 times. Yeah, because there's like the duty roulette is a lot more uh, a lot more generous, right? Ah, I've got one of those like sores in my mouth. It just kind of hurts. Yeah, uh, Sarkanoth. I haven't finished the story, main story quest yet, so. Yeah, I've heard like um, fates and duty and like leveling roulette is kind of how you push it through. If you just need to get down and get the work done, you're gonna be blue mage for a certain period of time. Is that a thing? I have not seen any of fate, and it's kind of a whole thing, right? Fate stay.
Sonics do. Oh, okay, that's right. I'm just gonna get as far away from them as I can. How about that? What's up, Rez? Welcome, welcome. Oh, Jesus, what? This is gonna be really interesting. If I could just get. Ah! Ah! Gotta admit, my party's pretty good. They're not getting hit by this shit. Going out like that. It was just fall towards the center. Jesus Christ. CDN, thank you for thank you for gifting all those subs. Very generous of you. You guys are trying to make me the new ninja, said every streamer on Twitch today. Yeah, right? It was limited so you can only level to 50. That's odd. They just couldn't... Couldn't balance it all in time? Hey, Fisher. This is indeed anime. Ow. It is a lot of respecting women. As, as we determined last stream, or I should say discovered, because it's always been true. Um, subbing to... All, any money spent on my stream is money spent towards respecting women. So rest assured, I give 30 cents of every dollar. I pay that towards respect, specifically to women. Men, if you've got a problem with that, I'm sorry. I'm just too woke. You're not allowed here. You're not gonna get any of this sub action. Any of this respect, no. Want some respect? Try having a vagina. Try that for a change. Maybe get a period and I'll give you the time of day. Your favorite melee DPS class? I actually haven't played I haven't played DPS in 14. Um, when I was talking before about the Holy Trinity, that's across multiple MMOs, just kind of as a role. So I gotta admit, I haven't I haven't uh, tanked or he or DPS in this game. I've only ever white mage, just because it made sense to me. Like it feels right. Why would I mix it up? I guess I, I guess it's possible that I might fall even more in love with something else, but. Haven't done it. If you had to pick on on this game to go, what would you go? What if you had to pick on? Pick CD, and I'm, I apologize. I can't quite parse your question. Nope, 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 not that one. Oh, wrapped it in anyway, okay. 
That's fine. We're good here. That does a fair amount of damage. I like that. That speeds up the fight a little bit. Earthquake for the women. Well, 30% for the women there. Let's not go crazy, but yes. For the women. The single moms and the, uh, the Catholic schoolgirls doing it for you. You actually get that pretty quick. Crack quick. If you, uh, if you keep using it. You're just in, uh... I don't have a food buff. Thank you for reminding me. Let me eat some nut bake or some bean salad, I guess. Is the, the flavor. Fuck. The only heal, how are you getting in crafting? Pretty piss poor. I think I'm like level 20 Trick Taylor or something. I play this game, but I also have a job and play other games. And I, there's a lot of stuff here, but... I've, I've really only invested in like playing main story quests, raid content, and I know there's so much more to this game that I just haven't ever touched. St I'm staring at this app. Orders in the works, okay. Wait, it says track, I gotta tap that track button. Okay, I guess I haven't even picked it up yet. I was I was getting all jittery for nothing. Charge more to women because you respect because you respect to rent out the Twitch mansion? Charge more to women because you respect to rent out the I think I, st I don't quite understand the question. Um I would say first of all I don't rent out the Twitch mansion, that's mine. Uh I invite people over, sure, but like hell, I'm gonna like let someone else use what's mine. It's mine, goddammit. Dodge poison, or when you have the arrow. Stack happens in front of boss. When the stack happens in front of boss, if arrows on players run to sides. TLDR follow people. If arrow run to side. Otherwise stack what I heard. I already did. I don't need to do it again. I keep casting Dia too much. There's no reason for that. What it was? Oh, did I win gear? Oh, okay. Okay, I think I get it. Three houses is, is good. Any plans to pick it up? I should- I want to! I like those kinds of games, I just, um... I don't have faith that I'll have time to play it. I'm... I'm just- I'm being a- Oh, 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 okay. Ah! Whew. I'm just- I'm in the middle of so many other things that I'm enjoying so much right now. And everyone seems to say it's real good. Would you recommend this game for someone getting into MMOs? Uh, that's a tough question. I don't know that that my recommendation of it would be would be based on how much MMO experience you have. I think it would be more based on the kinds of games you like to play or what you want out of a game. Oh, 
What's your tolerance for anime bullshit? Oh! Okay. I got very lucky there. Neat. I like it. I like it! Another! What are we doing? Oh, what are we doing, lads? Stack on me, boys! Seedin, thank you for the sub. That's three songs I gotta play. What's four? Gosh, you guys are right. I think we did it, guys. I think we solved... We solved, uh, sexism. Can you believe it? There's so much going on tonight. What a night. What a night. What a night for gamers. Oh, oop. I guess I'll put this over here. Oh, no, I should not have done that. Now there's no way to n avoid this shit. Uh. Wait, where's my Asuna? Shit, where did I put it? Ugh. Oh. Yeah, Dr. Levin, I'm really I'm really interested to, to see what somebody who didn't play WoW when it launched thinks about WoW Classic. I would be fascinated by that. Uh, sure cast nullifies knockbacks and has a small cooldown. Oh, I thought it only prevented, like, interruption. I didn't know knockback happened that way. That's cool. I should do sure cast then. Hold on, let me remind myself where I put fucking Asuna. There it is. It's two. All right. Um... Wait, how do I do this? Shift? Yeah, shift is attacks, but also a flatus, which I should probably move to something. I'm gonna be using a flatus a lot. I feel like more than Divine Venison, uh, which can be a buff. I try to separate it into like, uh, casts, buffs, and debuffs. Interruption prevention. Is he old? Surecast. What? It's the old Surecast. Oh, okay. Yeah, I just stopped using it. I never looked at it again. I was like, okay, I'll never use that. I'm like, why would I do that? If I'm paralyzed, I'll just do Asuna and then my next spell. Um, and, like, why would I ca cast something? And, like, there weren't many times... Like, if you were getting hit, you had bigger problems than just getting a spell off. Like, if you were getting hit, you were... Either the tank would pull aggro back or... Like, finishing your heal is not going to matter. Um, that's kind of how it came to me. I was in Nostellarius. Hope the lights, so I imagine, will be similar. Communities, I'm hoping. What is that? Nostalrius? Oh, I had to fiddle with some settings on my webcam. And now that the sun's gone down, I hope it's not too dark. Uh, I mean, it's, it's brooding, but I guess that's okay. Yeah. You guys can let me know if it gets absurdly dark. Oh, yes. The the WoW Classic server. That's right. I forgot about that. Um, I The name sounded so familiar. Oh, yeah. So, I'm absorbing the Light Aether. Which I then I guess I nullify? 
I don't get why, like, why that works. It's weird, because they'll talk about magical energies as though it's, like, a quantifiable, measurable thing that has, like, space. Um, like, it's something that flows like water. The Blessed's prayers have been answered. But, like, the hero of darkness can just absorb it and just goes into him and doesn't go anywhere else. So I don't know what that's all about. CD in, you're gonna head out? Oh, I got... Actually, wait. I can, let me play songs. Let me play songs. His condition yet troubleth thee. I'm gonna... You're blessed by the lights of being filled with light. Aether doesn't hurt you. But doesn't it build up? Wouldn't you have just a ridiculous amount of light aether inside of you? If you're just absorbing it from basically everything in this dimension? Or are you just a little magic sponge? Sponges run out of space. They can't soak up anymore. At a certain point. I don't know. I think it's odd how, like, uh, deterministic or, or, like, specific this game gets about, uh, how it describes its world rules, and then other things it's just kind of like, solid groove. That's, that's what it is, man. It is solid. Though he shows no immediate signs of corruption, <sighs> the danger remains. He must be told. Zenotar, thank you for the prime sub. Don't you get computer science? I'm poor. I have social anxiety. So you have any books for beginners? Loving the music, by the way. Um... You want a book for how to get into computer science? Hmm. You could learn HTML. Make web pages with a notepad and tutorials on Google. That's kind of a. Describe it to me. I guess probably the Paint for me a cheapest version words. of getting a very cursory look at like what programming is and maybe how computers talk. A sea of shimmering stars. Diamonds strewn across a raven gown, boundless and beautiful. Good to still in Haranje scene, yeah. It is an exquisite sight, not unlike that of the source. This music is pretty intense and gentle. I can see. You can't code an assembler and not a real programmer. Yeah, jeez. If you've never put, well, however, if you've never had to load a register with a CPU instruction and then tell it to go. There is no you're not at a so distant as to be you're not a programmer of light ominous though that may sound given our present travails well fought let us return home numpad zero is usually my text go forward button. I had it on auto for the longest time, and then sometimes I would just miss um, windows of dialogue, so. Also, I feel like uh, the gap is a little too long between lines for it to feel natural. So, we can, I can control the pacing of VO with the button, it's weird. Python is free? Yeah, I mean, everything's free, right? C++ is free. If I am not mistaken, they predate the Empire. I think, I think there's a command line compiler. QBasic? Yeah. There's stuff. For sure. JavaScript might be a better place to start. Most are made from mineral-based pigments. But whatever was used here is older than anything I have ever seen. According to Almut, this sanctuary was built to preserve the wisdom of the ancients. What events do these murals commemorate, I wonder? Was it a calamity? Must you always linger after defeating your enemies? Navigating these halls on foot is exhausting. Oh yeah, CSS. Lead us to safety, have you? Yeah, starting with like just base HTML and then learning like style markup. Like I, I, that's kind of why I recommended it because I feel like HTML and web design is a bunch of modular things that you can bolt on to kind of increase the breadth of your com like your complexity. Things that interact with other things, files that call other files. Bored. But how is the hero of the hour? It's a good question, JC. They didn't want us to pirate stuff. Why did they give it a cool name like piracy? Hmm. Fighting fit, I see. Keep up the good work. Oh. The very many old machines that run on COBOL and the old guys that know language are dying. It's gonna be very useful in a specific jobs with great pay. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, if you something. if you want to just like maintain an old machine, 
I'm sure it would pay well, but that may not be the most stimulating work, you know. Just keeping somebody's old shit running. I feel like most people want to make something new. Make something cool. Nothing more. I, 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 I like to watch. I suggest you do the same. I like to watch his bouts, bouts. Just a really, like, a really trashy Europop song from the 2000s. You guys, you know what was awesome? Europop in, like, 2001. It'll, nothing will ever sound that bad ever again. Oh my god. It sounds like it's a joke now, but it was for real. You recognize these scenes? Oh, holy shit, your mom codes in COBOL? RPG on old AS400 machines. What does she do? What does she work on? That's pretty cool. How you liking Shadowbringer so far? I'm loving it. Oh my god. It feels like a good Final Fantasy game. Yeah, Base Hunter? Yes. I unironically listen to Base Hunter. Yeah, like ATB, uh, yeah, Eiffel, Eiffel 65. Calamity? Across ten and three reflections. And the worst part? No one could remember it. Not really. Just fragments and fleeting memories of an achingly familiar world. So this is the origin story of the universe, basically. Paradise lost. Preserved only in song. Yeah, TSO. He's still doing it. And pain. So computer science in high school, and I was horrible at it. We had to make an app for a project, and I literally could not do anything past basic HTML. So basically, ended up making just the icon for the app. When I had to show it to the teacher, it didn't work, and I was like, "Ah, oh, it worked last night." And he's like, "Okay, Bella, I know you worked hard, and I got an 80." Well, if you actually, it sounds like you actually did work hard. It's actually a pretty nice teacher. You shouldn't feel bad about it. Upon a time. Yet here we find ourselves again. I don't think you should feel bad about it. I mean, if you didn't try. And he took pity on you, that's one thing. But I think a good teacher can recognize when you're really trying. You play the game for the story, or are you aiming for raids and such? Both! I really enjoy, uh... Share with us the sounds like Bella lied, though. Well. Maybe. We are listening. I mean, it sounds like she tried and it just didn't didn't work. I think I think you do have to have a certain analytical mindset to, to get how computers work. And I think it, it just... I think there's a certain logic that you try to imply on a computer that it doesn't understand sometimes. A world that knew naught but peace and prosperity. Sometimes I wonder too, I tried so hard to understand coding and I just couldn't. Yeah, I do believe you have to have a mind that can... It's like some people are good with directions, some people are good with landmarks, and some people are good looking at a map, and some people are good just having vague instructions like... I think people visualize... It also reminds me how some people, like, are horrible in a video game without a map. Or some people can't read maps in games. I think, and I, I really... This is purely anecdotal, and I hope it doesn't come off as judgmental, but I do think that some people are allowed... Can, like, visualize uh, abstract spaces more easily. Like, they can dive into their, dive into their like, mental imagining, and there's a lot of room in there to put stuff around. Um... Of specific things. Like, certain things just click, I feel like, or, or you can retain them. So, yeah, everyone has their talents. That's a very good way of saying it. Good at history and English. Those are good things to be good at. Crisis. Unprecedented. Terrifying. But, yeah, I feel like you have to be able to un found itself to be good at programming. Staring into oblivion. I feel like a part of it is, is like, imagining the computer's state all the time. But through prayer and sacrifice. The will of the star was made manifest. Reading code is easy once you understand the programming language is what it's trying to do. Writing a program is hard as hell. I, I mean, yeah, so yeah. I think that's the, that's the same as language. If you know what a sentence is trying to say, it's not that hard to read. Uh, writing a program is easy. I, I always appreciated the planning a program sucks ass, yeah. Like, working within memory limits and shit. I always really did enjoy the 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 poet soul involved with trying to make a, a piece of code as efficient or small or like compact as possible. That's a whole thing with nerds. Um, like you can write a bit of code that does a certain task 
someone else can use a different algorithm that like does it faster or with less memory or just the lines on the screen you can compress like a whole function into one line Yet some, some dudes just get like fucking tingles doing that stuff and I, I felt the tug I certainly did I always tried to use like from the fears future proof but efficient things best practices and stuff she who was to serve as his shackle to bind him and hold him in check I really should have listened to that last line more than I did. And so they fought, and they fought, okay. they fought, and in the end, Hydaelyn was victorious. So I guess it's just like, All her strength, it's a, opposed forces, but one's not good and the other one's bad. So it's just light and dark, but they're both. Split the very fabric of reality. Okay, so gods fought. And, thus, and that was the Big Bang Banish, basically. Is being divided. That concludes today's lesson on long forgotten history. Though I imagine your mother would offer a rather contradictory account, as is her wont. Whose mother? Are you talking to Heidelin? Menphilia? I'm sorry, I can only assume I misheard. But it sounded an awful lot like you were implying both Zodiac and Heidelin are not gods. Zodiark was a primal, Hydaelyn was a weapon to stop Zodiark's followers. Oh, so kind of like Ruby Weapon or something like that? What? Like an Evangelion? Not gods of the first. Is that what you thought these paintings depicted? Or... Oh. Oh. There's some fucking lore bombs dropping right now. After a fashion, yes. But no different from the kind with which you are so intimately acquainted. Formed of faith and prayer, of conviction and devotion. The world was about to be destroyed, so Zodiac was summoned to fix the world, and Heidelin was summoned to make sure Zodiac didn't abuse his power. Okay, so they're kind of dropping the bomb on you that the like divine force that's been guiding you this whole time isn't benevolent, it's just got an agenda. The eldest and most huge spoilers, man. Yeah. Of primal. Okay, that's kind of cool. So basically, um, Hydaelyn and Zodiac are primals of light and dark. They just haven't been killed in a long time. You've spun quite a tale. Well, wait. Then if, wait. So that means if Hero gets too much light inside of him, he might summon Hydaelyn. Yet you've really not explained the role of the Asians in all of this. How is it you are privy to ancient secrets lost to time? Doesn't really have an agenda. No, that's not what it means. They're not primals. Not normal primals. Okay. I explain more to 80. Okay. They require much more. Like, collapses of reflections of the source. Finally, you ask the right question. And shrewd questions warrant honest answers. Yeah, so this is this has been a big mystery in the game for a long time too. You'll find out, spoilers. Okay, cool. Thank you, chat, for being respectful, by the way. Because it is our history. I appreciate our story. Uh, you guys letting me figure this stuff out slowly. It was we who summoned Zodiac. We natives of that sundered paradise. Mm. Do Asians live for a long time? They're like they're not corporeal beings, right? They're just beings of ether. Yearn for the great rejoining. So they're the ones who split the worlds. For our world. For our people. Maybe watch the cutscenes to completion, then carry on your conversations. Okay, okay. I mean, I'm just I'm thinking out loud. Um, let me know if this is off, but I feel like the reason you would watch somebody stream something is so you can like watch them slowly gain understanding in the way that you did? Maybe I'm being too mouthy. Don't you forget about me. He's so cool. There's the Lahi. There it is. I like the play-by-play. Alright. I... It's funny, because you guys were saying, here come, like, yes. <laughs> That they, <laughs> they were dropping some lahis last time I was playing this, but I wasn't in the zone yet. Uh, hey! Ho! 
uh, wasn't in the zone yet, but, um... The second I got in, I was like, oh, that's what they meant. I thought that was a character or something. Oh, that kind of lahi. Got it. And you guys were right. This zone music is... Uh, is it's out of control. Oh, it made you turn off mount music? Yeah, I turned it off a while ago. I got I got real tired of listening to the Chocobo theme, I'm not gonna lie. This town music is not quite so uh all over the place. Eh, wait, what? Oh there we go. Can't even see it here. Oh, whatever. I never get tired of the Titan EX. Oh boy. Yeah, you listen to that a lot. You got a little X Wing? Yeah. Level 75 or 78? 75. theme is Shiva's horse? There's a Shiva horse? I mean, the Shiva um, primal music is awesome. Yep, there's bunny girls. For bunny girls or cat girls in terms of games and animes. I guess probably more bunny girls, just because I s can't think of a whole lot of cool cat girls, but at least there's Fran from 12. She was badass. Halle Berry is Catwoman. Yeah, that's that's important. God, that movie is something special. All EX mounts have a mount to play the boss theme for for our it was ponies. Okay. Is that so when you beat it on EX? When you beat a, a primal EX fight, you get a mount for it? I don't think I've beaten a single EX. Which, I'm ashamed to say. I got real close with primal a lot. Like, I got- or sorry, with Titan. I got to the point with Titan where I was like, I could do this, but y'all motherfuckers keep dying. Like, legit, I was like, I'm dodging everything, but the DPS keeps eating instant deaths. And I hate it. So, I should have beaten it, but I never got the right- Get a chance for it to drop. Okay. All right. Thank you. There it is. Boy, it hits you like a brick, but somehow it's great every time. Might as well scoop up this Chivo while I'm here. I like how it's like a tufted chair. Boys styling. Anyone doing that fate? Nope. Alright. Ah! I got tricked. Alright, well, never mind. 
You're all Leviathan? Yes. Yes, I am. Dude, Jamie, Final Fantasy XIV has great music all the way around. Ever since Realm Reborn, the music in this game has been great and getting better routinely. Every time I see this guy's name, I see Run Winrar. I don't know why. Ah, you are returned, and none the worse for wear. I see. Oh yeah, there's also big cat boys. The game has everything. You needn't worry about us. What became of the Yamor and soldiers, more importantly? They've been putting 1.0 songs in this. I do not remember anything from 1.0. turned tail and fled at the sight of the night sky. The children of the everlasting dark have also retreated back to Woven Oath. Try as they might, they could not deny the truth of their own eyes. The sunless sea of heaven, full of love and grace, where none need no pain or suffering. that moment, when the sky's light began to wane, I knew our prayers had been answered. That we were doomed to face oblivion at life's end no longer. When first we met, I harbored certain suspicions about you. Now I see that I was right. You are the bringers of shadow. The warriors of darkness. The saviors for whom we have prayed for so long. Did I see the cool plot point in this area? If it was part of the story, then yes. I suppose you're not entirely wrong. But we are not worthy of your reverence, nor have we any desire to be worshipped. If you would pray, pray for your children, that they may one day know a better world. Very diplomatic. I will do as you say. Please. Let us at least hold a feast to celebrate your victory. Yeah. You deserve that much. Can Dr. Levin, I'm gonna... Alright. Here's why I'm the best streamer on Twitch.tv right now. Because I actually paid for WinRAR. I did. I was the guy. It was me. They hit me with that, that, that window and I remember like I had a job and I was like... I had a credit card and I was like... done and scant time in which to do it. I got 20 bucks. I, I, I use this every, like almost every day. We must go. Of us. Yeah, careful everyone. For we share the same path and the same fate. I'm a hero. Is Warrior Darkness a good guy? Yes. He was never a bad guy? Uh, Datchet? How much are you going to get to switch over to Mixer? Like, odd man. So be it. I ask only that you hold us in your hearts. A, a month of Xbox Live? We would hold you in ours. Now, and ever after, by the boundless dark, this I swear. This is a subreddit r slash paid for winrar. God damn it, I gotta see that. Everybody wants to be like chaotic good, but I know I'm lawful good. I'm that, I'm that idiot. I'm that lame, lame asshole. Although I guess getting drunk and falling off your house is kind of a chaotic good thing to do. Or just true neutral maybe. Yep, 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 oh, almost got it. Oh, yo, we capped by levels again, alright. Well, at least there's an ass load of quests to do. Also, maybe I can do another one with my little, my little dwarven friend. I have a dwarven friend. I don't know why I keep opening and closing the map. Yeah, sober is lawful good. The uh, legal alignment shifts, though. Yeah, that's fair. New Jersey is bad, don't come here. Everyone is mean. But, like, mean in a fun way or just mean? Because that could get really annoying. Oh, it wants that cake. I like how the other. You still have the other fishing line with the greens on it. Disney senior trip was amazing because it was all of us loosened to Disney with pretty much no supervision. Uh, yeah, I'm envious of people that have cool schools. I mean, I guess I made I made it work, but uh, it would have been sweet to 
have a really crazy rad school. We had a, like, computer lab, but we didn't have, like, a programming team or anything. That would have been fun. You've done your MSQ roulette? No, I, I don't want to do roulettes. I don't want to. I mean, they don't... They don't take long. I should just do it. I've done these so much. But, sure. Is... What gives more experience? It doesn't really say. Oh wait, it does actually say. It's right there. 165 for both. Both with a bonus. 165, is that a lot? That's not a lot, actually. That's really not a lot. Main scenario gives a boatload of XP. This? It says 165. Is the... Is the... MSQ by a mile? Hmm. Alright. I'll do one. There's only for the job and need bonus reward? Oh! So what's the... how do you... does it tell you how much you get then? Ever? Anywhere? Oh, you're right, it is adventure and need. Does it just scale? What? Fourth option down? Oh, this. Don't MSQ unless you got time to kill. I'm cute. I'm confused now. This is the one that takes a long time? Main scenario? No skipping cutscenes. It takes 35 to 45 minutes. Oh, okay. It has unskippable cutscenes. Got it. Man. Never tells you, but leveling MSQ are always the most. Leveling, obviously, but MSQ has a higher bonus because you can't skip cutscenes and it's the only 2.0 and story dungeons. Oh. Okay. Got it. MSQ if you want to have a conversation with chat. That doesn't sound that bad, actually. Stormblood content? Yeah. When you're assaulting the, the castle or whatever. We're moving on? Alright. Hello, Woody Minion. High school experience was bullshit. Playing with real people or is this an NPC mission? These are real people. Unless, uh... Unless my entire life is a lie. This world is a simulation. And I have been duped... by uh, the Matrix. Which is certainly possible. I don't, I don't get blood roses yet, I guess. A senior trip is a senior skipping and getting drunk at a rich friend's house? That sounds awesome. I didn't have a senior trip. That wasn't a thing. I just didn't exist. It's weird for to, like, hear about that stuff. I'm not eating. Skin and bones. That's a big man. It's Goldar! This game really does have it all. Yeah. Kids who had parents who had disposable income. 
I mean, but I think by the time there was a, there would have been a trip, my parents were like either divorced or close to it. So that, you know, I was basically on my own already. So yeah, they weren't gonna... Yeah, I wasn't about to ask either of them to try and, like, pay for a fucking trip. That sucks. Eh, it's life. It's not a big deal. I was already pretty old by then. I was kind of ready to be on my own by that point anyway. my childhood ever since I've thought about that I don't think so I think that um, even even with like I think my behavior patterns don't support the idea and I'm not saying that to be defensive I'm saying that because I've honestly asked myself that um, I think if that were the case I would like probably buy a lot of video games but instead I actually I mean I do buy them but I play I like buy the ones I want to play and then I play them and that's it uh, and I, I don't know, I certainly don't want to be young again. I really enjoy my life right now. But, I, no, I, I know, I'm, I'm taking it overly seriously, but I do, I do think there, that is a thing. I do think that, uh, a lot of people in... I do think, you know, like... I think people maybe have a comfy period of life and they really want to stay there and they keep trying to find their way back there to some degree. So I, I just try to ask myself if that's what I'm doing. I feel like it would be, it would be a shame to uh, spend my entire life just trying to re regress... It's important to think about those things. I would hate to live in the past? Yeah, I mean, me too, man. I... My life has only gotten better. Day by day and year by year. I guess that's not true. There have been some times that have definitely been worse. Like times where it's gotten bad. And it wasn't necessarily all that bad, but... I shan't hold back! <sighs> up and up since. Oh yeah, Lise. How do you know that you've regressed? Oh, I don't... I don't know that one knows. I think it's more like trying to keep a keep a keep in mind what really makes you happy and like why does it make you happy? If you just want to live in a time where all you do is play with toys and not have any like responsibilities, then and if that drives a lot of what you do, then that should I don't know that should be considered should be known. Should be acknowledged. I guess I really don't know where I'm going with that. That's such a... It's getting so... Uh, so vague. Philosophically vague. I'm not really speaking about anything specific anymore. That's what it feels like anyway. But, I will say, running a dungeon you run a couple of times is a great time for introspection. Very Final Fantasy VI boss. People in the past, all they did was work and fuck. I wonder about that. Like how, how I would choose to spend my days before video games. Lily, I'm stopping. Okay. I'd probably read a lot. Oh shit.
probably do uh, like tabletop RPGs quite a bit. I might drink too much if I just got bored. I wonder what kind of like trade I'd be in. I could see myself being like a carpenter or a mechanic. Yeah, board games? Maybe. I don't know the board games would fascinate me all that much. They might. Uh, probably something like chess. I could see myself getting very much into chess. A game a game of skill and wits. Or maybe not so much poker. I feel like there's a randomness to poker that I would still find unenjoyable. You would be a good engineer? Yeah, I've, I've done some engineering stuff. I do have a degree in computer science. Um, which, you know, means less and less as time goes on. But I think I, I, think I, I agree that I did... I, I'm stumbling on my words. I agree that I had an aptitude for it. My dad was an engineer, so... Oops. Machine, try to tend to need space... I tend to space out and wander away of heal range. Worse than needing crap is black mage sometimes. Is it obvious to tell? Because there's a lot of times I've had to scamper after somebody and... I figure they might they might get a little a little tense about it. My mom's a trap. Thank you for the prime sub. Dude, you've just invented like 4chan's perfect porn. That's gotta exist, right? You underestimate me! That's gotta exist. Mom trap porn? Or maybe like as a as maybe it's a doujin or a manga or something? Anyway. Machinists can always move, so I always move. Okay. I guess there's no reason not to, but yeah, I can see how that might get you out of range. Way. He's gonna. Sh Hian's gonna show up and bro it down. Bella, you're getting roasted by your dads. That sounds like another 4chan porn. Sorry. Big horny in chat tonight, I guess. Or big horny streamer. Checkers at a low barrier to entry than chess. Need a five-year-old to play. Games are quicker, so it does have advantages over chess. I guess that's true. Yeah, I don't. I don't think it would captivate my attention for very long. You're running MSQ roulette or just finishing Stormblood roulette? I am level capped on MSQ at 75. It's it's impossible to see, but I guess I'm also synced to 70. That statement's getting added to the callout post. It's true though. You can't add good ideas to the callout post. The actress in question would get paid, so chill out. She would get respected. I don't even know if this shit is worth any money. As one. Uh, somebody said something about turning in gear for another kind of resource. Does anyone know about that? Hand it into your grand company. Oh, do you just do that at the like quartermaster or whatever? give you seals then trade it for venture coins that's perfect i can do that i always need venture coins okay got it great perfect thank you i'll have to make a mental note of that so i just have to go back to limsa lominsa which it's going to be a weird trip to take but i guess i have some uh i'm like i'm in another dimension than that place now Scola Colossus Rubricatus. Strainal Dominator. You guys are just in here with the porn tonight. Big horny chat. Thank you for the prime sub. You can just walk back to the source. You can immediately after being warped in. Oh, that's right. I forgot. There's that door there. Where does the door go? That made the Warrior of Light able to go between into the lore? No, I know, I know. I'm just... It's just really far away is my only point. Like, that's a pretty big... De technically a pretty big de detour. Why are we over here? What's happening? Oh. This day you die! We got some cinematics happening. 
pretty sick. Yeah, it's a thousand guild of warp. Not if you have a certificate of warping, or whatever it's called. Uh. Hi, oh, funk. This dude looks pretty cool, actually. Oh. It looked like Bucky. That's level 80 samurai job gear? Cool. I approve. Ooh. There's no way. There's gotta be another face of this fight, right? Oh, that's right. The other one comes out. What's your full in-game name? It's Clouderoth Cephaloud. The most original thing I could come up with. Oh, who, who leveled? Oh, I just, I won gear. Never mind. Oh, yeah. Oh, jeez. Woo! Oh, yeah. Can you not move them? I thought, you, I thought you had to hit them. I can't really target them. It's weird. Oh, whatever. Everything's fine. None of this matters. Trap is a slur. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like, JC, like, obviously, obviously I'll defer to you on this, but peop, is it, when people say that, I, I feel like, though it has, it has slur connotations, and I get, I get those meanings, I feel like it's not used that way most of the time. A am I wrong about that? Hmm. And, and maybe it's just a question of education, but it really does feel like most people are ignorant of that, or don't use it in a derogatory way. Most people use it for the meme. Yeah. That used to be the case. It's kind of a dead meme. At least it feels like it is. Trap is harmful. Hmm. Anime definition and real life slur definition. It's a char character archetype from anime. Okay. I mean, I certainly don't use it. Um, oh. Oh, two million. Yeah. Not bad. Yeah, that's I only have to do like one more of those. You know what? Good job, Shadow Infernal. I mean, it sounds derogatory to me, and I have nothing to do with it, so I guess what do I know? <laughs> Only Admiral Ackbar could say it. Just the way cis dudes feel comfy liking trans people. Yeah, so combust. That's definitely what I've noticed. Is, like, some very hateful people use it because it's actually their thing and they're into it, but they only want to use it for that. Which is, like... I guess it's bad in its own way. When it's just, like... It's, it's like... Uh, it's like where where women used to be. Like it's okay for them to be sexy, but they're not people. Uh, and and people twist that as into saying it's respectful. I show up this conversation. Does it turn anything gross or disrespectful? No. I mean, Bella, come on. Hopefully. Hey, you know what? If it does, then you know who to ban. 
or I know who to ban. I'll say that. So we're always we're always not gross and very respectful here. Or wait, no, we are gross but respectful. Both. Yeah, we're better than that. And if perhaps you got some feelings bubbling up, just keep them right to yourself. But nah, every everyone's been chill, so not even implying that's a thing. I don't know. I just was uh, it was just a a little a little twitch in my mind, I guess. The way that I see people use that word, I think I think um, I don't remember who said it, but I think I think you uh, you nailed it. Is that it's a way for dudes who can't wrap their head around it, but also have a kink for it to to use it in terminology. <laughs> Ban all chats. That's just a good idea, right? Seem really cool about it. Chat's been cool, which is refreshing. Yeah, I mean, we're all people here, you know? We all like games, man. That's what it's about. Ain't no hate when the games are strong. Shit. Uh, maybe I can get to that. Maybe I can get to that fate in time. Hey, Tilby. Oh, shit. Four years. Goddamn, that's a hype. That's a big hype. That's a big hype. Extending an anime-specific term outside its usage. I think you might be right. Um, some other people, yeah, were, were, were noting that it uh, it certainly does denote um, surprise, or it implies deception, which is not the thing. I'm just like, let's get ahead of this. Gotcha. That makes total sense to me. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong here. The vibe that I get is like, okay. Okay. Like, we're done. Yeah. You, you basically nailed it. It's like, it... It was used a certain way at a certain time. We're better than that now. We can move on. We don't have to nod and a wink. We can just not be shitty. Man, it was worth it, I guess. <laughs> it's always about education. Yeah. Empathy. Clip of you going, well, it's your new name, get used to it, man. And then, like, 15 seconds later, going, sorry for calling you man. It's just so hilariously endearing. <laughs> I mean, yeah. It's, it's a process. Like, you try to... You try to train yourself so you don't make the mistake in the first place. And I'm not even saying that was, like, I know you don't care. But this is... It's the process. It's... It's, it's Lawrence's guide to not being shitty. Is to make the effort in the first place. And then review. Play the tape back. And see if there's anything you can improve on can't trust yourself to just be right all the time, which is what a lot of people do. This is a cheeky little piano roll. What's going on here? I haven't heard the night theme because it hasn't been night here yet. Yeah, Sarkanoth. This is, this is, it's waking up a little bit. Hold on, I'm gonna land. I don't want the little flaps. I want to listen to this. Damn it. It's a piano version of the Delahi. Yeah. Well, the Lahi has so, like, such crazy and wild uh, chord shifts. It, like, goes from major to minor to seventh and all this, this crazy stuff. It's just bouncing all over the walls. So to hear this just, like, solo on a piano, I think, really brings out how swerving the, um, the melody is. Oh, well, thank you, JC. And that's what life's about, just finding people you're comfortable with. Uh, yeah, you're right, it is Lahi. Uh, but I must interrupt, I must interrupt the beautiful Lahi rendition for a track to celebrate four years. Four years? Of M. Tilby, or is it Mount Ilby? I think I've asked this before. You can let me know. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna play this. I really like this track. This like weird world music has has reminded me of it, so. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you for the four years. Very long time. Please enjoy. Oh, JC, you should you should read Cask of Amontillado. It's a. Uh, I think if you read it, you'll be you'll be pleasantly surprised. 
Not... I think you'd enjoy it. <sighs> okay. Um, I think, guys, I think I'm sorry, but I think I'm going to hang it up there. I am still very tired and very hungry. So. Um, but we got some, we got some plot. Beat a, beat a magic beast. And if I'm not lying, I'm probably going to go back to playing Doom after this, because I don't know what's wrong with me. I've got, I've got the fever, you guys. I got it bad, bad, bad. All right, so here's the deal. Uh, I can I can go to a way and do a couple tries on stream. Is it a, is it annoying? I shouldn't care. I shouldn't care. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna take a break. I'm gonna eat my sandwich and then uh, I'm gonna play Doom a little bit again. I don't know what's wrong with me. I just got it. I got the I got the fever. All right, I'll be back in a bit. I would like a good cask of Amontillado. Maybe you should go down to the basement. Bring up a cask of that good Amontillado. Just have a nice evening. Let's go down there. <laughs> All right, see you guys. In a hurry. Be sure to avoid the oil slicks. There's no way to land on your board once you've hit one. Watch out for beach balls and baseballs. If you can max out your yin-yang lives, you'll stop the timer and get all the time you want to finish the board. This is the key to scoring really big. Turtles can really mess up your board. Try to stomp them if you can. Here's a great ride. Try to pick up every point you can. this move. I always pick the gorilla when I surf. He's a slightly cooler dude. Try to maximize your air time. If you're really good, you'll be able to go under the wave, right into the tunnel for more points. Don't hit the seagull. Here are some nice moves by your average cat in your average tuxedo. Go for airtime for extra points. There are more men headed to our house. Meet VA Mail 69 2005. He's the one who said there's just something about a teen body. He's 28 and thinks he's talking to a 14 year old. He's actually chatting with this 23-year-old from Perverted Justice. He was by far the worst guy I've ever talked to. Dozens and dozens of cases yes. he worked on. What separated him from the run-of-the-mill computer predator? Bestiality, one word. <laughs> he chatted online for more than a week with our decoy and slowly introduced more and more depraved sexual requests. He even says he wants to involve a dog. As soon as the guy said, hey, maybe I'd want to do this, and he wasn't immediately slapped down. It's testing the waters. Was this all talk, or would this man actually walk into our kitchen? That's him coming in the door. How you doing? How you doing? Why don't you have a seat right around that stool, please? What's happening? I'm much. What are you here for? <laughs> Just coming to talk to him. Coming to talk to who? That's it. Why are you so nervous? I just get nervous. I was coming to talk to him. How old is he? She didn't tell me. Try again. I saw I saw 14. So you thought it was okay to come here to see a 14-year-old girl? No, I didn't. And you say, would you ever try anal? Ouch, that's like it could hurt. Not if done right. You have to be very gentle with that. Quite a Romeo. I'm, I'm a lonely guy. What can I say? He's more than just a lonely guy. We did a background check on VA mail, and it turns out his real name is Joe Wunderler, an Army sergeant stationed at Fort Belvoir at the Intelligence and Security Command. I've never done anything. I'm trying to get help with it. What are you doing to get help? I'm seeing a, a psychiatrist right now. Well, it doesn't look like it's working too well based upon all this. I just started talking to him. And this gets pretty freaky here. You talk about sex acts with a dog. 
-hmm. It's one of the reasons why I'm trying to get help because I've gotten into approaches that I that I know aren't right. I guess you're going to tell me next that this is the very first time you've done something like this. Mm -hmm. Actually, it is. I'm serious. True or not, remember this guy tried to entice a young teen into depraved sex acts. It only takes one encounter to harm a child forever. We set aside three days to see how many men would actually show up at our undercover house. To keep track of our appointments, we set up a bulletin board. It didn't take long to fill up our calendar. Total today? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten so far. Some came bearing gifts, like beer, condoms, and a pornographic tape. One man brought shoes and dinner, just what the decoy ordered. You may not think that's significant, but Lieutenant Jake Jacoby, who runs a child services unit here in Virginia, says during undercover stings, it can help get convictions. At times when they show up, um, we like to have them either bring us something or do something so we can show that, that they're doing specifically what we asked them to do. Shows intent. It helps, yes. The men who show up at this house looking for a liaison with a child come from very different backgrounds. And as our investigation unfolds, you might be surprised at just how diverse our group gets. Some hold very prominent positions, more prominent than you'd ever imagine. What do you do for a living? 